What is up to Express? Today I'm going to be showing you in a very easy way if you're tied to intrusive ads, pop-ups and your Android phone, whether it's an application, games or while you're in the browser, you're in the right place. So in this quick guide for the 2025th, I'll show you the fastest ways, the fastest way and easiest way to block most ads on your Android device. So there's no booting, there's no nothing required. So this is an ad free experience back. So why do you like to do this process? For this particular tutorial, I'm going to be using an emulator, which can be helping me, of course, to check out these applications totally for free. But you can open your um, your Android to make this process. So by blocking ads into Android can be helping you with faster loading times, can be helping you to save mobile data, enhance the privacy, and improve the bodily life. So the first method is to focus into a private DNS. So first thing is to focus into your settings application or stock Android emulator. I can open my settings and you can navigate directly into the network and advanced elements. Usually it might be appearing as advanced, but basically here into the more connection settings, you want to focus for the private DNS or the only DNS elements. Those are preferences from the computer, but you can look the alpha directly into the phone. So you can type into the dns.argot.dns.com or the dns.nextdns.io uh, and you can hit now into save. Basically, it might be appearing uh, in here. In my case, it doesn't appear, but you can look out for it directly into your Android. Once you have now activated that element, you can now go for save. And the absolute fastest and most effective way can be using this private server and this should do the trick. Just open a browser, an application that is used to display ads, and you should notice a significant reduction, if not complete removal, of advertising, and this works system-wide. There's a second method for a cleaner web experience. So while the private DNS handles many ads system-wide for the truly clean web browser experience, I highly recommend using a browser with built-in ad blocking or one that supports the ad blocking extensions. For example, I'm going to close my settings and I'm going to look out for uh, maybe the Brave browser. Now this browser is private free. You have no ads in here. Um, it has an ad and tracker blocking built in the default, making your web browse incredibly fast and private. So right out of the box, just download it from the Google Play Store and you're good to go. So once you hit now into install from Google Play, basically your ad won't be appearing anymore. And there we go. So we can download the Firefox with uBlock Origin. There's the AdBlock browser, which is also available into a PZ, a Windows. You can try them out totally for free. And basically this is one that I used a lot because you can block annoying cookie banners, which I think is going to be really, really awesome. This is a third method dedicated for ad blocking applications. So for those who want even more control or find a private ENS that doesn't catch every single ad, you can look out for dedicated ad blocking applications like the ad god or the blockade. Basically all of this can be looked out directly here into the Google Play element. Just go directly here into search and here into search I'm going to just type ad block. And into AD block, I should be looking for example, here's the Firefox, there's the AD block for Samsung internet, there's the AD God, as I just told you, there's tons of applications. Just make sure that this one is totally for free, has a lot of great ratings, and has really uh, more than four stars, so you can install this directly into your, in this case, an Android. So there you have it. By simply changing the private DNS settings or using a dedicated AD blocking browser, you can significantly reduce or eliminate the interest of the ads on your Android phone in the 2025th. So you can enjoy a faster, cleaner, more private uh, mobile experience. So you can let us know in the comments below if this video helped you out. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to TechSprice for more quick tips and tutorials. Thank you and see you next time.